Well, I think uh, I think the big current topical highlight is global climate change. I couldn't imagine anyone now not being interested in learning more about what it's all about, what the scientific basis is, what, what the um, ethical and economic and political dimensions are. So we really do uh, try to get students to think about what they can do and why it's important locally, but we want to broaden their perspective enormously to think about global issues. So well, let's say someone comes into class with a bottle of uh, Poland spring water. We're going to ask questions about that. And we're going to look at the rest of the world, much of the rest of the world where water, um, you can't take water for granted and you don't have the luxury of um, imported water coming from some spring in Maine with its all its own environmental impacts and the transport and packaging and consumption of that water. We're going to contrast that with people who have to walk many miles a day just to get access to not very good water. And so we'll try to put the water issue in contrasting perspectives. And we'll do that with a lot of other issues, too. But yeah, we do want to get them analyzing their own ecological footprints. And what would my impact be if I lived in um, Sudan and, and uh, in a typical situation? How does that compare with my situation here in Philadelphia or in the U.S.? We're lucky to be where we are. We have some great places that we can visit. Uh, the waterworks might be among them to look at Philadelphia's water supply. We can look at that sort of thing. We can look at where it goes. We might uh, get them, and I hope this doesn't uh, lose us too many students, but maybe a sewage treatment plant. Everyone should visit a sewage treatment plant. The idea of citizen science has really caught on in recent years. Citizens, as opposed to specialists, as opposed to thoroughly trained scientists, uh, citizens go out and do some of the some of the work that contributes to the, the data that's needed. We could have um, our students doing some of this, going out and doing basic water quality sampling. And the Delaware River Basin Commission, for example, has a website where you can enter that data in and it becomes part of a much larger water quality uh, database. We've got people from senior citizen school kids doing this and, and uh, our students could get involved as well. And, and, and in our class, We'll ask questions about, well, is citizen science good? How well does it work? What are some of the issues? We do expect to have uh, uh, business school participation and perhaps from the geology department as well. Possibly someone from engineering would, would join us. We hope that students are willing to be themselves part of an experiment. We want to try out different things on them. We don't want the course to get old. The things we want to look at are yeah, things like ethical dimensions, um, economic dimensions, uh, maybe spiritual dimensions, political dimensions. There are all these all these aspects to environmental issues. That's what we want to get students thinking about and becoming informed enough to make their own critical, sensible judgments as they, they face a deluge of information about our current environmental problems.